Hi, I'm Josh Finn from J&H Aerospace. We are out here with the Electron, uh, but we're not showcasing the Electron. Forgive the tatters, I've sifted it through a few trees. It keeps flying. Uh, obviously, this is a Science Olympiad indoor airplane, but we're flying it outside because getting flying sites here locally, uh, my schedule has not worked exceptionally well. We'll have a little bit of footage of this flying indoors, though. Uh, but we're not showcasing the Electron so much as the power system. So this looks like a standard power system, except that it swings a little bit larger of a propeller at a slower speed, and that makes it more efficient. So we've got these available on our website. The other thing that I want to show you, uh, well, I, actually I'll mention, is this is one that just uses a switch jack, so there's no manual switch as soon as you pull the plug, it fires up. So why that's an issue? Uh, Science Olympiad decided to screw up the rules on, uh, on the chargers and they interpreted the, the, uh, the rules as saying that you can't have a switch. Now obviously if I have my power system hooked up and I don't have a, uh, a switch, anytime this is plugged in the uh, airplane is charging. But then when I go to fly I want to pull that plug out to fire up the motor but it's still charging while I'm doing that and that leads to broken airplanes. So, since you can't have a switch, you have another plug. So, this is a compliant power system. It is available separately. It does ship with all of the airplanes now. But we're going to plug this in, so we're able to charge, but we're not charging. Now, if I plug this little connector in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, now I unplugged it and it has stopped charging. So uh, that was, you know, in reality, less than a five second charge because I was counting really fast. Uh, but this is charged partially enough to make it fly, uh, but it's not fired up. So now I can get in position. I hold the airplane and I should mention this because a lot of you are holding them wrong. You squeeze right here so that you're holding on to the, the jack area, not back here. So you tear the airplane in half. And so now, when I unplug, it fires up, and I let the plane go, and away it goes. This is where we also showcase that this power system is extremely efficient because off of a very partial charge, the airplane just continues to cruise on away very, very beautifully. And apologies for the wandering flight pattern. We're outside, it's a lightweight airplane, and so it wanders a bit. If you can tell, the airplane flexes a little bit in flight because of all of that. And this is where I start yelling at it that you can land about now. We do have somewhat buoyant conditions here and a very, very efficient power system, so the airplane just keeps hanging out for an extended period. Caught that one. All right, so we're just gonna show you the same thing again. We're winding down, it's almost fully discharged. So when I plug this in, it shuts off. So now the motor is just uh, disconnected, capacitor is connected, and then we'll charge again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Disconnected, so we're no longer charging.
For anyone wondering, we did get it back. Wind blew it down out of that tree, and it was hanging on that branch right there. Sorry, let me correct myself. That one. And it blew down before I could even uh, get to it. And uh, seven minutes. So, had a little help from some friendly air. And it does turn eventually. We're just not sure when. There we go. It needs a little bit of right thrust to get things quite where they need to be. But, anyway. I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit of wind up there. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.